Elon Musk is wrong. He tweeted this meme titled Life of an Artist. The pie chart shows that artists spend most of their time on social media in 2022. In contrast to 1985, it's mostly sex, drug, and rock and roll. This is not my experience as a scientific illustrator. I have a Master of Arts in Scientific Illustration, so I'm definitely more qualified than Elon Musk to talk about this. So in this video, I'm going to fix these pie charts and show you what an actual working artist timetable looks looks like. First and foremost, we have to put sex back into 2022. We are definitely still having sex, okay? If you think Elon was wrong, give a like. Maybe Grimes is not having sex with Elon anymore, so that's uh, his perception. They produced two babies. Uh, only one is from surrogate, so I assume the other one is coming from... We have ignition. Uh, which the name that we cannot pronounce. Sorry? Oh, 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 you mean my kid? <laughs> This sounds like a password. <laughs> this chart, of course, is a meme, so it shouldn't be taken too seriously. To be fair, this meme is not even created by Elon. It is created by a Dutch artist called Dadara. All right, so what does my time management look like? Uh, actually, about 20% is creating artwork. This is the accurate part about this meme. The actual time that you would be able to sit down and make art is only a small proportion of your working time. So what takes the most time? Administration work, like writing invoices, writing quotes, putting things into my Google Calendar, really keep a track of your finances. In the Netherlands, you have to file VAT every quarter. Once I forgot to file VAT, and I get a payment request from the Dutch IRS. They asked me to pay 5,000 euros. It was only two months into me registering at the, the Chamber of Commerce, and I haven't even made any money yet, and now I have to pay 5,000 euros. I was panicking. And it turns out that I could make a call and make a correction, and then and they would just give me 60 euro fine. I think it was 60 euro. So um, that was a very scary experience. That is what happened when I don't keep my administration in order. Another 10% of my time goes into communicating with my clients. We have video calls to talk about the project, writing emails back and forth. So these uh, takes uh, quite some time. And the other 10% goes into communicating with my assistant. I need to write briefs to explain how we should work on the projects, updates about uh, the progress, and then I need to check them. And the last 30% of my time goes into social media. Indeed, uh, social media takes up a lot of the time of the artist uh, because it is the modern marketing, especially when you are a small business. We don't have millions of budget to spend on advertising agencies, so uh, social media would be the go-to places for us to put ourselves out there. Speaking of social media, you can follow my social media here. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, and I'm also on Twitch. I live stream on Sundays, so come hang out with me. Yes artist needs client we need businesses we need monies to pay our bills so we can continue to create art that is the reality of uh, working as an artist i know a lot of people might have this fantasy about just living for art you will end up having no health insurance like how i was like the first two years of me working and uh, then your teeth will be falling out i wasn't buying dental insurance because i wanted to save money my tooth chipped and then I need root canal and I have no money to pay for root canal. So I have like a huge obsess for an entire year. Don't do that. Don't be an idealist with bad teeth. Also from this pie chart, you can see that working as an artist full time is very much like a business owner. Most of your time will go into doing business administration, marketing and sales. I think this is something that more people should know about if they have a aspiration of becoming an artist. You really need to have business skills in order to uh, pay your bills and make your art endeavor sustainable. I know in a lot of stories about the artists that we heard about, it's all about that, oh, you need to sacrifice everything for art. Money is such a corruptive uh, substance into your artistic aesthetic, all that kind of shenanigans. Maybe if someone else is paying your bills, you can do that. Maybe if you have a sugar daddy or a, a trust fund, that's possible. But if you're someone who doesn't have a big trust fund, 
then um, you have to know about how to run a business. I can only speak from my own experience uh, that I would prefer to have a really well-structured business and I can create a good product for my client. Do you notice that I talk about creating good product for my client? Now, I 100% of my time goes into commercial work. I don't really create any personal project anymore because I just don't have the time for that. Actually, these YouTube videos are my personal projects in a way. Not exactly. I'm also getting paid by YouTube. So yeah, these are all like commercial projects. This is another thing I learned after becoming a scientific illustrator. It feels very different when your livelihood is rely on your artwork uh, than when it is just a hobby. It really puts a lot of pressure into creating art and also there will be commercial considerations that should be incorporated into the work. Clients' preferences will definitely affect the style of your work and uh, you don't have 100% of a creative freedom. If I were going to give an advice to people who want to create pure art, it's better that it is a hobby. You know that saying that make your passion your job, then you don't need to work for a day. Um, it just becomes your job. There's no shame for taking a job because it pays well. It is very good to stay realistic. There are crazy people like me who have been very idealistic that just go after my passion. And then I really made all the mistakes on the way and I paid very high price. I lost my teeth. I almost get kicked out of the country for a few times because uh, when I don't make enough money, I will lose my resident permit. I have a self-employed visa and there's a profit criteria and when I don't uh, see that, then uh, I cannot renew my resident permit. So there has been a lot of consequences that transpired from my decision to become a scientific illustrator. It has been very difficult. However, I just keep on going regardless of the difficulties uh, because I really find what I'm doing quite fulfilling, especially from the YouTube channel, uh, because I get to see that uh, scientists around the world get to find the tutorial that they need so they can publish their paper. And I get to interact with all of you from across the world. That is just a very amazing experience. That is what keeps me going while things are very tough. I think this is what a lot of the proverb uh, says, about passion. It is less about finding happiness. It is more about that if you have the passion about the things that you're working on, uh, then when things get tough, then you will not give up. You will persevere. If it is not something you find meaningful, you will easily give up when things become difficult. So you see that a lot of my videos, they only got a, f a few hundred views. That's uh, not a lot for a YouTube channel. Definitely not, it's not making me rich, but I still post a video every week and because uh, yeah, I like the interactions and uh, it's just really nice to know that some scientists in the world have um, find this helpful. So that is my pie chart. And if you think Elon Musk was wrong, give a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.